I'm going to describe for you using this model how you will begin your dissection of the heart. This is a pointed structure called the apex of the heart. The upper region of the heart where all the blood vessels exit or enter is the base of the heart. There are two ear-like flaps called auricles. You need to locate these to be familiar with whether you're on the posterior surface or the anterior surface of the heart. This is the front surface of the heart or anterior surface of the heart. So you begin your dissection by finding the front of the heart. Find the right and left auricles and the vessel that's in between them, the pulmonary trunk. There may be excessive material present on your specimen that needs to be removed. The technique for doing this is to cut across the pulmonary trunk, leaving about half an inch, two-thirds of an inch of vessel. Pretend it's a garden hose. You're just simply cutting across it. Once that's removed, you will see the base of the aorta. This is a little bit wider garden hose, but still, you're going to cut across it. You can pull those two structures a little bit away and it'll help you find the superior vena cava. Pulmonary trunk and aorta have very thick walls. Superior vena cava has a much thinner wall. It's carrying venous blood. It's under less pressure. By running a probe or your finger into the superior vena cava, you may also be able to find the inferior vena cava, the exit for your finger or the probe. Your next cut should be a longitudinal cut that opens up superior vena cava and inferior vena cava and allows you entry into the right atrium. In this model, I can just simply open the door and we can take a look into the right atrium. Your heart will not have a chamber that's that big. The right atrium in reality is not that big. It may hold your, your fingertip. The process then continues in that you push your finger into the right atrium, which I can't very well do in this model, and cut across it, cutting wherever it is your finger goes. Push your finger through the valve, cutting into the right ventricle. Your goal then is to turn a nice sharp corner and cut your way out of the right ventricle. I'll remove this to show you how the, the angle at which you're cutting. So you've cut your way from the vena cava into the right atrium, through the tricuspid valve, into the right ventricle, then you turn a sharp corner and cut your way out the pulmonary trunk, cutting the pulmonary semilunar valves while you're doing that. The left side is a little bit more straightforward. You find the left atria, and you cut from the surface of the left atria down into the left ventricle. That opens up that side. You can kind of open the flaps up like you would open a book. And see the shape of the left atria, the bicuspid valve, and the left ventricle. I can't show you with this model because it won't come apart. But you're cutting your way out of the left ventricle by cutting sort of at the angle my finger is going. You're cutting from the left ventricle to cut into the aorta so that you can open the aorta seeing the aortic semi-normal. 